And we have been very consistent, uh, sirs, that since the first day, since our version was was uh, submitted to the, the Congress, online libel was never there. When I was reading the Supreme Court decision, it was a terrible read because the Supreme Court tried so hard to look at aiding, abetting, attempting in terms of libel and rights. Why did they have to try so hard? Because in the first place, aiding, abetting, all of these predicate and, and surrogate crimes were not part of the discussion on online libel. If you insert online libel, that's why the Supreme Court had to strike aiding, abetting, all that, because it's not supposed to be. It was not designed to an online libel. So it bled our hearts, as, uh, as the DWG members has pointed out, that for such a technically simple and, and good piece of legislation, that we end up having to defend it, we ended up having to run with it. Now, the crafting of IRR is doubly hard because we have to put together piecemeal legislation starting with the e-commerce app, anti virusism law, cyberbullying, child protection, child pornography. Child pornography is repeated again, cyber sex is repeated again. And all this confusion is very difficult for law enforcement, who at the end of the day, our MFOs are the ones being measured, our outcomes are measured against a law that is practically very difficult to impose because it creates a lot of confusion. If a period and a comma changes the whole meaning of text, can you imagine putting all six, seven, eight laws and expecting under-resourced, under-staffed law enforcement to do a good job? So 